here. And today we have a full body workout, cardio strength and abs. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on and 10 seconds rest. Remember to go at your own pace. Now I'm gonna be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and a pair of 10, but choose whatever weight is best for you so you can do the moves correctly with the form and effectively. All right, let's get warmed up. Roar. All right guys, let's actually start out on the ground. So we're gonna have our feet in front of us about hip width apart, hands right and back, and we're gonna drop our hips side to side, trying to touch our knees down to the ground. So make sure your feet are too close together, otherwise this is not gonna work and you're gonna like mermaid it instead. So we're really opening up those hips, getting them warmed up with a stretch. This is fun. Three, two, and go ahead, shaky, shaky. All right, from here, we're gonna come into a plank position, hands on the shoulders, knees on, the, uh, not knees on the hips, except feet extended out. Go ahead, press in a down dog, and then bring it back into plank. So, press fingertips, palms to the ground, hips shift up, folding into that V, and then bring it back into that plank position. Keep your core nice and strong. This is awesome to open up those shoulders, that chest, and just get us moving. And let's go ahead, stay in a down dog here. Bicycle out the feet, getting those calves nice and warmed up. It's been a while, you guys. It's been a hot minute. Three, two, one, and bring it back into plank. From here, you're gonna bring that right foot to the outside of that right hand, drop the left knee down, open up, bring it back. Let's go ahead and switch. Open up that chest, nice little yoga to warm up our bodies, don't worry. I promise you, it's gonna get a lot more intense. Just, just a lot of it, no big deal. All the way up, let's go one more each side. Nice little flow. Remember to go at your own pace. And remember, this is a video, so if you ever need to, you can always just rewind it. And let's go ahead, jump or step, up to the hands, and slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. Roll up the shoulders. Whoo! All right, let's get in those jumping jacks. <laughs> it's not a cat word. Warm up. We've got some jumping jacks. Keep it going. Jumpy, jumpy. Three, two, one, and back lunges. Step that leg back, sing straight down, come back up. Now, if lunges are for you, if they hurt at all, maybe stick with squats instead. Or, don't go down as far. You can always use some kind of stable surface to hold onto and to sink down, maybe not as low as me. So working out is not about hurting yourself, okay? It's about having fun, making ourselves stronger. Oh yeah. One more. And go ahead, bounce it out. Butt kicks. I like to have my hands in the back. Make sure I'm bringing my feet, feet up high enough. Ooh, I'm gonna be rusty today. <laughs> Keep it going. Three, two, one, feet out wide. We're gonna sit down, side to side. We will be adding quite a bit of movement uh, flow today. I know you guys like doing that. I just got certified in a move mat levels one and two, so teach you guys a little bit more as we work out together. Maybe not just today, but in our time together. Woo. And go ahead, shaky, shaky, roll up the shoulders, bounce it out. All right, arms in that T, feet out wide. We're gonna reach across the body, crunch, opposite hand, opposite foot, pew, pew. Keep it going. Nice job. A few more. Last one. All right, let's go ahead and work on that stability. So stabilize on that right foot. Try not to curl the toes, and we're gonna make a semicircle. Squeeze that core, really making ourselves challenge our balance. Now, the wider you do that semicircle, the more challenging. So if you need to make it a little bit easier, you can go right here, or you can just stabilize. If that's where you are in your fitness journey, that's okay. I like to use my hands to make it a little bit more stable. And let's go ahead and shake it out the other side. Keep that core strong. 
Woo! One side might be more challenging than the other. And also, some days your balance is just not that great. And that's okay. We work with what we got for the day. few more. I'm just go one more after this and go ahead, shake it out. Regular squats, toes either slightly out or forward, sink down, keep your chest up, sinking it down, pressing that weight midfoot to heel. Never in those toes alone. Keep it going. And we don't have to squeeze the butt so much where we're hyperextending our spine. Sink down, bring it up. Sink down, bring it up. Squats, baby. Squats are not the best booty exercise. P to the S. One more. All right, go ahead. Bouncy, bouncy. Let's go with some curtsies. Chest facing forward. Bring that leg in back of you. Sink down, bring it up, switch. Now for this one, you wanna make sure you're not twisting too much like this. We want to have that chest facing forward. We are here to get stronger. This is your time. I'm so happy you put time aside for yourself to get stronger, to have fun, to learn your body even more, because our bodies are the most important things we own. So we want to take care of them in all the ways possible. That means mentally too. So objective today, if you find yourself like saying, oh, I'm shook or I'm so bad at this, I want you to. Not stop yourself from saying that because once you have that thought, you just can't stop that. But replace it. I'm getting stronger, I'm working on it, etc. Replace it with something positive. Bounce it out. One more set of jumping jacks. Again, touch the hands to the top. You can probably jump your feet out wider than when we started. Ooh, that back is getting loose. Almost there. 
push it out, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Drive it up. It's crazy how much you can feel it in your inner thighs. Back lunge to hammer curl. Grab the weight safely. Instead, what I want you to do 
you're going to do a squat and press, okay? So I'll show you that in a second. If you can't do floor work movement because maybe your wrists or elbows or something. So instead, squat, press will be for you. If not, we're going to take this slow. <laughs> you might have to unlearn it from whatever you're programmed. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Lift up slightly off the ground. You should be able to move your head. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Move forward and back. Common mistake I see, people elevate their butt too much or they bring their knees up like this. You want to try to keep your knees as close down to the ground as you can. Keeping the shoulders nice and stable. Again, you should be able to move your head around. Another option, having your hands and knees on the ground. That's okay too. Woo. Take it slow. Not about speed. Shoulders, core, and quads. Should really feel that. All right. Next up, squat touchdowns. You're more than welcome to use a weight. I'll demonstrate with it. Start with your feet together. Jump out. Come up and switch. Keep your back flat. Okay. None of this. So sink down. Up. Now. You can always drop the weight, or if it's too much for you, sink down, come up and switch. Okay? All options for you. Again, we're all going at our own pace. Your quads might be tired from the bear call. Hopefully not too tired for the next move. I'm gonna switch my camera. After this, get right into it. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, so next move, I'm gonna set these dumbbells up, elevate my feet on them, my heels, and then I'm gonna have the dumbbell in front, sink down, bring it up. If you don't have three dumbbells, you don't need to use any weight. When we elevate our heels like this, really forces us to use our quads a lot more. Now, um, make sure you're still pressing into the heels. Ooh. <laughs> That's fun. That's so fun. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. oh my gosh, like totally fun. <laughs> Finish it out. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right. Just gonna hello. Hello there. <laughs> two times. All right, set up your weights like this. What you're gonna do is hop over, hop over, burpee. Jump up, up, hop over, hop over, burpee. And up and jump. Move a little closer. And hop, hop. If you can't do a chest floor burpee, you don't need to. You can always jump in a plank, walk in a plank. That's okay too. Come up to the tippy toes. Again, your workout. together, back flat, neck neutral. Bring it out into a T. Think about those shoulders. Sorry, not shoulders, that back. Okay. You are working your rear delt, which is the back of your shoulder. Also working rhomboids though, and lats in your back. Your neck should be neutral, so it shouldn't be looking down like this or up like this. 
Look a little bit ahead of you. Keep it up, guys. Ah, okay. <laughs> high knee punches. So for this one, it's not just high knees. It's punches, too. Who thought of this? <laughs> high knees, high knee punches. If the punches are too much, take them out. <laughs> you can always do high knee, part, high knee punch marches. That's okay, too. It doesn't have to be opposite, but usually that's what ends up for me. stability in the warm-up. Yeah, guys, doing awesome. It's a longer workout today, which makes it so much fun. It's so much fun, right? Totally. Okay, row. Bring it up. 
and back. Ah. <laughs> there we go. It's not a rushed movement. All right, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go to my left leg. There's time to stabilize. Oh, there's a hair. Get it off. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Real time, baby. Oh, that left glute definitely feels it. After this, I'm gonna go to some upper body. Give that lower body a little, bro little break. <laughs> Our cardiovascular system will break, sort of. <sighs> Keep it up, guys. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Shaky, shaky if you need to. 50 seconds. Makes you really challenge yourself mentally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Half curl the serving bicep. Alright, I'm gonna go to tens. I'm gonna stick with tens. So come up halfway. Press out, back, down. This is one of those moves. More time under tension for those biceps. Nice and controlled. If you want to get a little back bonus, squeeze your elbows together here. Back and down. It also sets you up better for your curl. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Finish it up, guys. We got 15 seconds. As you notice, I'm in the yoga room right now at the gym I work at because it's like, 30 degrees out. I can't do it in the garage this year. <laughs> and done. Alright, so this next one is back roll and jump. If you can't do the back roll, you're gonna squat, jump, or come up on the tippy toes. No rolling on the neck, no rolling on the head. Sit down, roll, tuck, come up, and jump. Now you want to make sure you're tucked in tight. Okay? Woo! I didn't get enough momentum while explaining. Ha! There we go. So, again, do not roll on your neck. Do not roll on your back. Or, sorry, your head. Roll on only that back. If this isn't for you, again, stick with the modification. Finish it out. Tuck in tight, bring it up, hop, keep it going, oh my goodness, cool, cool guys, <laughs> all right, single leg deadlift, grabbing the 15s, all right, so, stabilize on one leg, have that knee slightly bent back flat, toe facing towards you, try not to curl the toes, if you need to tap down between, you can. If this is too intense, if you can't keep your back flat, drop the weight. I am telling you, do not do the weights if you are rolling your back. You don't have to touch the ground either. So, okay, so you can stop right below the knees, come back up. Not a rushed movement. Use zero weights, use one weight, use both. As long as you keep good form, that's what matters. Toe facing towards you helps you prevent your hips from opening up to the sides. You keep them nice and in line with the floor. Okay. Okay, next up, weights down. Stabilize on that right leg. Hover curtsy. So instead of tapping down, hover, hop. Hover and hop. If you need to do the full curtsy, like in our warm up, that's okay too. Sink down, up. Sink down and up. Keep it up, guys. After this, I'm gonna check if the camera is still rolling. If my connection on my phone went wonky, please still be rolling. <laughs> ah! Technology, I love it. <laughs> Am I right? Duh, duh. 
That wasn't a joke, but I made it one. <laughs> Almost there. And hop. All right. So, deadlift is next. Please tell me recording. It is. Okay, good. Good day. Good day, man. Right. So, again, once I'm ready, we're challenging. Take your time. Bend the knee slightly that you're stabilizing on. Stop a little after the knee. Don't touch the ground, you don't need to. Whoop. You don't need to bring your knee up in between. But sometimes it's fun. <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't look somewhere else. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. This is so much fun. Working on our hamstrings and our glutes and our stability and grip strength. All in the one. Amazing. <laughs> All right, hover curtsy and hop. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, sink down, hop. Ooh, this leg. Feels it for sure. Just smile. Remember, if you mess up, if you need to touch the ground, if you need to shake it out, you didn't fail. It's okay. It's not a big deal. This is our workout. It's supposed to be fun. We're not supposed to beat ourselves up. Be all like sharp about it. It's all good. Whew. Down. Nice job, guys. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is very challenging for me today. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, arms up, 180 degree squat jumps. So, you're gonna squat down, hands up, turn. Squat down, hands up, and turn. If that's too much, Squat down, hands up, turn. Okay, or just stick with squat and jump. Some people have some issues with like vision or something and moving in a circle like this might not be the best. So do what's best for you. Back is flat. Take your time. Rewind if you need to. 
That's the point of a video. <laughs> it's all about learning new things, you know? I can't stress enough how my workouts are no longer about burning a certain amount of calories. I don't count calories, I don't do any of that anymore. So I do a video on that in the vlog if you wanna watch that. It's very freeing. All right, plank to break dance, kick out, come into a plank, bring that right foot to right hand, your left hand is gonna kick under, come back, and just like the warm up, down dog. Left hand to outside left, or left foot, outside left hand, kick under, bring it back, down dog. Kick, really working shoulders, Again, make sure you're not collapsing in your shoulder. Nice and sturdy. Protecting not only the shoulder, but the neck, traps, etc. So again, really working shoulders, really working core, really working coordination. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, three skaters, single leg burpee. Clear the room. Clear it. Okay, three skaters. So, one, two, three, stabilize, down, up, jump. And if you want to make it chest to floor burpee, more than welcome to, up, up, or modification, tap it, tap it, tap it, do both feet, either jumping or stepping, and come up. I want my workouts to be for most everyone. So, always a modification. Woo. One, two, three. I don't know where I was going with that. I like to have paint. 
so on Sundays. Um, <laughs> just make sure your hands under your shoulder here, you're not back here like this. And then I'm doing a tricep push up, which means I'm in chafing danger zone, elbows right next to the body. Little puppy. Okay, next up, bent over, leg oblique. Oh, we're on the abs. Oh my heavens. Okay, right leg over, like you're stretching, except you're adding a crunch because I'm mean. <laughs> okay, so I got this from Athlean X, Jeff Cavalier. I always like to give shout outs if I find a certain exercise somewhere. Pressing up with my left hand or try not to. So I really focus on the obliques. I don't know why I'm aiming that way. <laughs> and really focusing right here, baby. Exhale up, inhale down. If you're holding your head, make sure you're not pulling on your neck. Oh, so fun. After this, I'm gonna get a yoga mat. Oh gosh, it's orange. Look, the dreams to call everyone. Ah, 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 other side. Okay, let's go. Look at that. 10 seconds, baby. Everyone in the other room at your house is like, what was that screaming? I thought you were doing a workout video. I was. <laughs> She's insane. Keep crunching it up. Getting those obliques. We're almost to the cool down, guys. So, I mean, you might as well stay with me. Might as well. I don't know. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Finish it off. Exhale up, inhale down. Hop. And. Oh yeah, that oblique at the top really feels it. I love it. Okay, one, two, three crunches. What I like to do is, now, I'm gonna do the most advanced version first and then, hey, my hair's in a ponytail now, there's a bun. All right, so, you're gonna go one, two, both, without touching. If you need to, your hands are planted in back of you. One, two, both, or plant your feet, making sure you're still leaning back and you can just stick with these instead of bringing both feet in if it's too much, okay? So, if your lower back starts to hurt, then I do suggest definitely planting your hands in back of you because we love our bodies. Whew. And you can strengthen that lower back in different ways other than making it suffer this way. Oh, baby. Hop. Try not to grab on your knees like a suitcase crunch, if possible, until the end. All right, bent knee reverse crunch with a kick out. So we're gonna try not to support our lower backs with our hands, but if you need to, you totally can. Um, legs bent to 90, you're in a small, and then kick out. So yeah, small little crunch, really focusing on those lower abs. Press up, kick out. The farther you kick out, the more challenging it's gonna be. I'm just holding on to my neck, I'm not pulling on it, just for a little extra support, because it needs it today. I just need a little support. <laughs> oh, I like working on the over room, it's not cold. <laughs> There's no like random lawnmower, though I do miss the leaves <laughs> swirling all over the place. <sighs> Uh, keep going, dang it. Keep going. Josh, kidding. Okay, two more moves. Two outsiders, two outsiders each. Okay, so legs are going to be straight up. If it's not too intense. And then you're going to reach right hand to the outside of the left foot, and then the opposite, and then both. Okay, so another one, two, three. One, two, Three. If that's too intense, you can always bend the knees like this. Reach up as far as you can, even if it's only a little bit. One, two, and three. That's totally okay. Whew. I am hungry. This always happens. Someone just asked me about, what do you eat after a workout? Like, 
like, is it necessary? And I'm like, I used to believe in the golden hour. And if you're going for like a bodybuilding competition, then you want every edge as possible. But rather than that, I'm usually so hungry I eat after anyway. <laughs> All right, next up, last one, Superman press outs. Super important to work our lower back, it's part of our core. So let's lay on our tummies. I know it's not so comfortable, but lift up, push out, back and down. Up, push, back and down. Up, push, back, down. If this is too much, try lifting just the upper body up and then come back down, rest. Just remember to keep breathing. Breathe throughout this. Stay with me. Almost to the stretch. This mat smells. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> it's so bad. Up, reach, back, and down. Oh gosh. Okay. Finish it out. Dang it. Do it. Okay, we're done. It didn't be much. Okay, we're done. We're done. Yay! Alright, guys. So, um, we finished. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. No, we are going to stretch out. It's super, so important to cool down and to stretch it out with me. Or if you want to repeat this workout and skip the warm up, you can do that. Or you can do one of my other workouts if you want to. That's cool too. Just before you go, please do like the video. Um, share it. Share it, share it, share it. With everyone. Everyone. And uh, I do have a link in the description along with all the moves down there um, to support my channel. I do these workouts for free, and I don't, you know, so I'll just like, if you could, that would be like amazing, like totally cool. All right, but anyway, let's cool down. All right, guys, let's cool down. So, let's start out. Right leg extended, left foot in the inner thigh, and we're gonna reach as far as possible. Now, if you can reach with your other hand without too much strain, we're gonna do that so we get our QLs that's in our back. You also feel it right here. Relax, breathe. And go ahead, bring it back to center. Woo! Other side. Other side. Oof. One side might be tighter than the other. And that happens. It happens. And bring it back to center. Woo! Alright, go ahead and have your feet out in front like we did in the beginning. Another little hip opener stretch because we are probably not going to go to bed after this I'm guessing so um I like how I say we you like oh yeah I'll be there in a minute um <laughs> but we still want to get moving keep our bodies fresh for whatever activities you have to come for the rest of the day all right go ahead take that left foot bring it under right foot over and if you need to you can always straighten out this leg if that's not for you Left hand to right knee. I know it's a lot of directions. And then right hand, bottom back. All right, now we're gonna pull, twist, look over the shoulder. And you should feel this in the glutes, which is gonna be amazing. Um, and we're also getting a nice spinal twist, keeping our spine nice and healthy. If you have any spine issues though, and your doctor doesn't recommend that, then obviously avoid that. All right. Ah! Ooh. I hiccup and burp at the same time. So if you're new to me, good luck. Woo. Breathe. And bring it back to center. Nice job. Let's go ahead. Feet together. Little hip opener again. Now, if you're like me, I get very uncomfortable with hip openers. They're just uncomfy and it's one of those moves that if you believe in this in like yoga, it, it's the hips uh, hold on to emotions. So you might feel very emotional after like a hip opening class or whatever. And it's very true. Ever since I started like releasing some of my emotions, my hips have been opening up at the same time. So pretty crazy and awesome. Our bodies are pretty cool. I just got super yogi on you. <laughs> let's go ahead, bring those knees together. And we're gonna wrap them around us. And let's go into cat, camel, cow, cat, cow. 
Someone corrected me. It's cat cow. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Knees under the hand, or gosh dang it, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Tuck the chin, the chest, round the back, press the palms, fingertips to the ground, tuck the chin, tuck the chin, and bring it up, open the chest, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's get funky with it. Woo! I like to do a little swirly swirls all the way around. You might feel silly and uncoordinated, and that's cool. Shaky, shaky. Press into a child's pose. Relax the neck, next to the palms, everything. Walk the hands, the knees. Go ahead, bring that right leg forward. Press into it. Ooh, yeah. I really feel this in the back leg, that hip flexor, and I also feel it in the front leg too. Quite powerful. Quite powerful. And hand sandwiching that foot, tuck that left toe, bring it up, and bring it back to get calves and hamstrings on that front leg. If you need to, you can always step it forward. That helps you get a deeper stretch. Let's go ahead and switch. Switching your toe. Look at these grooves. Spin all the colors of the rainbow. It's amazing. <laughs> grooves are funny. They're just funny. Ooh, this side's tighter. This side's angrier. It's like, ah, oh, what are you doing to me? Get me out of here. We gotta go. All right, same with that foot. And let's bring it back up. Get that hamstring and those calves. Breathe. And step both feet together. Relax it here. Get one more hamstring stretch. Shaky that booty. Shaky, shaky, shaky that booty. Shaky. Okay, I'm done. And slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. Roll the shoulders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta wrap up soon. Left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. What are you guys having after this workout for our food? I love food. Go ahead, tell me in the comments below. What are you gonna eat after this? How are you gonna fuel up after this? Shake it out of the side. And shake it up. All right, let's do one more, one more. We gotta sparkle. So, cross the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today, you we did it, you guys did it, we completed our crazy, awesome, full body workout for the day. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Please do like the video. Giving you time, giving you time. Okay, thank you. And also leave a comment below, let me know what you're having for your post-workout. I wanna know, give me some of those ideas. Yeah, uh, let me know. And as I said before, in the description, there is a link to support my channel. Anything and everything would be amazing. It really helps me out. I do these workouts for you guys for free. So yes, yes, that would be amazing. Thank you. And then don't forget to follow me at Cat Moosey Fitness on Instagram. I have some crazy awesome uh, stuff on there. Uh, you're gonna see more of like what I eat and my stories, more of my life, uh, more of my like lightsaber training and stuff. So if you wanna follow me there and see all the cool stuff, that is there for you. I right, guys, see you soon. Have an amazing day. <laughs>